Hi, everybody. Uh, today is Monday, October 2nd, and uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what's going to happen next week for the midterm and then just see if anybody has any questions so that uh, we can make sure everybody's all squared away and that there's no um, no problems. So first of all, let's take a look at where we are with our course. And um, if we go to our schedule today, you'll see that it's class number 18 and that uh, we should be through video 16, working through chapter four. So the chapter three homework has been turned in in an ideal world. And then chapter four homework will be due on a Friday. So the first thing I wanna mention is that chapter four is the last material that will be on the midterm exam. Um, so you will be able to uh, take, when you start getting ready for the midterm exam, you'll know that there's four problems, four chapters, one problem from each chapter. So uh, the problems are also graded, they're weighted equally, even though some of them may seem easier to you. For example, a uh, unit conversion problem may not be as difficult as a three-dimensional equilibrium of a rigid body kind of problem, but they're still weighted the same uh, because they're all important skills. So that's the first thing. The second thing is I have recorded and put on our Moodle page a short video about the midterm for the fall of 2023. It's about seven minutes long, I think. So uh, if you watch it, you'll get quite a bit of information. And then I also filled in some times for the midterm exam. So the midterm exam um, is the, the week is October 9th through October 12th, but Monday is still a class day. So we need to make sure that we get through that before we have the midterm exam. Um, and then of course, Thursday is the last day before fall break. So I was going through my schedules for everything. So I like to give people a couple of options. Your, your best option is to come here and take the class, take the exam during class, but there are other times. And basically, because we have one hour class, but the exam is a two hour exam, um, and you can do it either face to face or Zoom, you can take it anytime Wednesday between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Um, and so I'll either be here or in my office, or you can do it on Zoom at any of those times. And if that doesn't work, I have a Zoom block from 5 p.m. till 7.30 p.m. on Thursday. Now, if none of those times work at all, then just send me an email or send me a text and we'll get you squared away. So I'm not, if you can't take it during those times, I'm hoping it just consolidates everything. I'm hoping you can take it during those times, but if not, um, I will work with you to make sure that there's a time that you can do that. All right, so what does the exam look like? Uh, the first thing is uh, when we get to this point, if you take a look at the review problems, you'll see that we have a unit conversion problem, then we have a problem from the textbook 2.132, some vector math, and then 4.107. So uh, if you do these problems, you will be very well prepared. They're not exactly the same problems, but these are the nature of the problems that will be on the midterm exam. The next thing is you get to bring in a study sheet, which is a single page of paper in your own handwriting. You can write anything on it that you want. Um, you could even, I've had students work these problems and put them on the review sheet, which is totally legit. So um, I wanna make sure that you have all the principles down, but I, you know, I, I don't, I think exams are, how would I put it? If you're good at what you're doing, you can show competence. I do not expect flashes of insight occur to occur under that amount of stress. So, um, so the more prepared you are, the better off you'll be. So I often advise students to work the review problems, to ask me when you have problems about them, and then spend a lot of time putting together your study sheet. And that's usually a good, a good way to get about it. So um, that's kind of the big thing. This is a little bit different. I don't really have any times on Tuesday 
Uh, so it's just, and then of course Friday we have the day off, which is a new thing for us as well. So we have just the two days to do the final exam or my midterm exam, but if you can't work with me on those, just send me an email and we'll get you squared away. Okay, so any questions at this point? All right, so the next thing then is we're working through chapter four. All the videos are recorded. There are some um, sample problems. I always kind of think about chapter four as sort of like it brings together everything in chapters two and three. So it's kind of like, I don't want to say a punchline, but it's sort of like a synthesis chapter. So some people find it to be fairly, it, they feel like it's stuff that they've covered before. Some people, it, some people don't process the, their, their work that way. So I find that people are kind of all over the place with chapter four. Um, do you have any questions about chapter four to this point? See, that's it. <laughs> all right, so. <laughs> so anyway, um, but that's, uh, that's kind of, that's kind of the deal. And then as you see, I don't even have our schedule posted for after fall break. And that's really because once in a while I get somebody who's just really a go getter and they really want to get started. And at least for this class, I would like everybody to have a little breather. So uh, we'll get done on Thursday. We'll come back the following, well, Tuesday, but Wednesday for this class. And we will start anew with the new material. All right. Um, so if you have no questions, short class today. That's all we have. And um, but don't don't forget, I am here to help you. So get a hold of me if you need anything or if things don't make sense. And if you can't do the midterm exam during those time blocks, let me know and we'll schedule another time. And uh, I guess that's it for today. All right. So I'll go ahead and stop recording. Have a great day today.